Oh, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we have this beer right here. This is actually a Granville Island beer, so a Molson Coors beer. This is Lion Summer Ale. Uh, what do we have here? 4.7% alcohol by volume, and it says it's a flavored beer. I know nothing about this. I haven't even read the ingredients or anything yet. What I, what I know is I walked into the beer store. I returned my empties. Uh, I had uh, $32 I was getting back in, in empties. And I only spend money at the beer store when it's with empty money, for the most part. So I returned my $32 in empties. They asked me about a uh, donation. I donated half of it. I took uh, $15 back. And then I walked past their cans, and this was sitting there. So I grabbed it, because I haven't had it. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, ingredients. Beer. Concentrated, concentrated juice? So beer, then uh, pineapple and passion fruit juice contains barley. What's in your beer? Is it corn beer? Is it rice beer? Is it, is it uh, DME beer? Is it LME beer? Is it HFCS beer? Is it? Uh, I'm done. I'm gonna open it up and drink it. I did. So this this kind of is like a Rattler then, if it's concentrated juice in there. Just a higher ABV. Ooh. Tonight at work, one of my coworkers brought a uh, brought a pepper mash in. It was a hot sauce, she said, but it was a, it was a pepper mash. It was it was a lot of oil and just macerated uh, uh, Thai dragon peppers. And it, it was a container like this. It was a pill bottle they filled up. They washed out a pill bottle and filled it up. Who knows what the hell was in that pill bottle. Maybe that's why I'm feeling so good right now. But uh, she she brings it over and she's like, Chad, try this. And I ate the entire pill bottle of it. And it just, just as I started pouring this, moved into my intestines. And I can tell you, when you eat a bunch of peppers or a, or a bunch of macerated peppers in oil, when it hits your intestines, it hurts. Your stomach, your stomach can handle it. Uh, your upper intestinal tract seems to be okay, but as soon as it hits my lower intestinal tract, it just like pushes its way to the anus. It it wants out, and uh, so we're gonna try and be quick here because uh, it's it's moving, it's moving, and my God, does it hurt? Oh my God, does it hurt? Oh my God, does it hurt? Uh, so slightly slightly hazy, uh, golden color, bright white head. Tiny bit of snap. Oh, I don't even care about the snap crackle ball. So there's concentrated passion fruit and and uh, pineapple juice in here, but it doesn't really smell like either. It kind of just smells like your regular uh, your regular corn soda. It, not, not even a corn soda, just your regular macro brew. It just has that sweetness to it. Uh, corn soda has that, like, corn chip soaked in soda water. And this, this, this doesn't have it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like right at the fold between my groin area and my, uh, and my beer belly. Which isn't really a beer belly. It's like a Joe Louis belly, let's be honest. Uh, I drink, but it's the stupid things I eat when I'm drinking that, uh, I bought my kids a pack of Joe Louis. It's the first time I bought a pack of Joe Louis in, like, six years. The pack of Joe Louis isn't here anymore. I ate it. I, 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 cheers. I gotta try it. I eat passion fruit. I buy passion fruit. I buy pineapples and I eat pineapples. This doesn't really uh, taste like either. It kind of tastes like beer with a little bit of a more dirty aftertaste. Mm. Let me grab my beer and continue this while I turn off the lights because I'm going to bed when I'm done this review. You guys can just look at the table. You can. Uh, let's turn off the video lights as we do this. Uh, 
yeah kind of just tastes like beer I mean stereotypical beer with a little bit more of sweetness on the back end I mean there is that just dirty almost uh, can taste on the very very back there's a little bit of that uh, super sweet taste up at the forefront there's a little bit of uh, I guess what you could consider passion fruit flavor at the very end but it's like a over ripened passion fruit I'm not really getting anything not texture or anything that could be uh, considered uh, pineapple juice to be honest um, Um, just so you can see, I am drinking it. Um, whew, whew, I can't think straight. Whew, the endorphins. Okay, here's what I think. I think it's a fine beer. I think there's nothing really wrong with the beer. I don't think it tastes at all with like what I thought it would taste like when I saw flavored beer with pineapple juice and passion fruit juice. I expected much sweeter. I expected much better, to be honest with you. This basically tastes like an adjunct lager with the tiniest touch of juice in it, maybe like two or three drops. That being said, it's not offensive. There's nothing wrong with it. If I... I had to give it a mark out of 10. I'd probably give it a 575. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't care for it, especially with what I was expecting out of it. So, cheers, guys. Bye.